Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I want to say that I probably won't be uploading a lot this week. This video probably won't be up for another couple of days. Um, my granny passed away during the week, so it was pretty hard and trying to deal with that. And the funeral isn't for another couple of days because of <clears throat> basically the snowstorm that we're having in Ireland. Like the whole country is completely shut down. Um, and yeah we're just waiting until we can sort out when the funeral is anyway onto the video this video is on how i do wait it's about how i do my foundation if i was going out and or using phot flash photography because this foundation matches my uh, fake tan perfectly and it also gives me no flashback when i use like my camera for example or the camera off my iphone um, I get no flashback off this so if you're interested in how I do it keep watching. So the first thing that I do before putting on foundation and my makeup when I have fake tan on I usually have fake tan on my face already do my body so like it'll be fresh on my face and I have a little bit of fake tan. What I do when that happens well first of all you want to moisturize your face like I'd say a good hour before you do this um, I forgot so I'm gonna do it now. I use any product that I use on my face with no SPFs like my Olay um, moisturizer it ha it's the day or it's the night cream so it doesn't have any SPF whereas the day cream it has like SPF 15 and um, one of my foundations has an SPF in it but that's the only product that I allow to have an SPF only because of the colour. I'm gonna let this sink in for a good maybe 10-15 minutes just until you know like it's synced into your face. So it's been like about five minutes not even and I feel like my moisturizer has like synced into my skin completely. So this is gonna sound really weird but I basically grab whatever fake tan I'm using. The tan that I'm using right now is the Bella Mienta Rapid mousse in dark and the stuff is so nice i really like this um tan so what i do is i take some of it onto like i'm not even kidding maybe that much onto the pad i'll use a small amount and then build as much as i need and then taking a stippling brush this is the real technique step stippling brush and what i do is like i basically very lightly grab this and then kind of stip it onto my face just really lightly like you won't even notice it go onto your face but you really only need a tiny bit um the reason why i puff it or which call it wow i can't talk today the reason why i put um fake tan onto my face is because the contrast between my face without any fake tan and well against my body with fake tan that itself, even if you have the darkest foundation on your skin, there's no pigment underneath your foundation. So it'll just automatically pick up white on a camera with flash. So the pigment basically in the fake tan, I'm just going to take a tiny bit more. Basically the pigment in the fake tan will kind of stick to your skin and do the same as what it's doing on your body. So it won't, it'll just mesh all together. Okay, so I have that like really light layer on my face. So continuing on with my face, I'm going to use my primer now. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Primer. I'm still trying this stuff out, so. And onto the foundation. I use two different foundations. I use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 4.5. This is like, I'd say maybe two shades too light for my fake tan. And then I use my Rimmel Match Perfection in 400 Natural Beige. And this stuff is way too dark for me. Like, way too dark. But this is the foundation that has the SPF... Oh, it has SPF 20. So, if you have a foundation that is, like, say, SPF 20, for example, and it is in the shade that is your actual shade, it will come up, I'd say maybe three to four shades way too light. This one, if I just, if I was to just wear this on its own and have flashback, it would match my body completely. But in er, in real life, it does not like match me whatsoever. 
So I like to mix it in with a lighter foundation that has no SPF and is good in photography. So it kind of, when you put it together, it kind of cancels each other out. So when you take uh, flash photography, it still doesn't give you flashback, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain, but it works, I promise. I use this combination all the time. You can see like it does match my tan. And I actually really like the finish of these foundations and they last so long like the foundation itself lasts really long for this combination and this out with a real techniques i think this is like the contour sponge but um my complexion sponge is way too dirty so i'm just gonna use this for now Okay, this looks absolutely ridiculous, but I think I need a little bit more lightness. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the Giorgio Armani onto my face. Oh, how ridiculous this looks, but bear with me. I lightened it up slightly. I just put like a little bit more of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk onto um, my face concealer and I'm, I use the Tarte Shape Tape because it doesn't give me that big of a flashback. Like, it depends on, again, what kind of colour you use. And I use a very light colour, so I only use a tiny bit. And the colour of this will kind of make my face a little bit lighter. concealer kind of lightened it up a little bit bear in mind I think I forgot to tell you this is kind of only when I'm going out out I wouldn't use this during the day unless you would like to it's up to yourself personal preference and all that kind of stuff. setting everything down I like to use the stay matte powder by Rimmel this gives no flashback whatsoever so I like to use this all over my face even under my eyes so that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my Vlag Canvas F 40 brush for underneath my eyes. I like to make sure that like my smile lines are completely locked down because during the night like I'd be laughing or whatever and you can tell my smile lines come through so I am such an idiot. I just uh, set down this side of the face and I forgot that I use contour stick from Rimmel. This is so annoying. Oh, I do this all the time. I always forget. But I basically use this side of the contour stick to contour out my cheeks, my forehead and chin and nose and all that kind of stuff. And this is so nice when I'm using flash photography. I'm even so tempted to use it on this side. but looks so weird if this one didn't have it so um yeah I use this I just don't want to redo my face I'm so annoyed so I'm just going to set the rest of my face while I'm on it so what I like to do is bronze up my face a little bit I don't do a lot but I'm going to use my Hoola bronzer by Benefit and a, the Sephora um Pro Precision Powder Brush in number 59. It's just kind of like a tapered brush like that. Okay, and now on to contour. Um, I like to take the NYX contour palette. This is number seven and that's what I'd use without tan, but I'm going to use this darker shade. I think that's in number eight or nine. This um, kind of contour brush, I have no idea. I think this is a crown brush, but it has nothing written on it, like it's completely worn away. So I'm just going to take this lightly into that. I kind of like to place it down and then blend it by like doing really small circular motions. Okay, and then onto my forehead, I pretty much do the same thing, but I only use the tiniest bit. I don't even use that much. Um, I probably won't do my forehead if I use the contour stick because it would just be way too much with the bronzer as well. 
but because I forgot, I'm just gonna use it. And then I like to put some just here, just to kind of make my lips look a little bit bigger. Now on to blush. I usually use my Silky Touch Blush by Essence, but I wanted to kind of go with a more golden toned um, blush and I'm using Rose Gold by Sleek. That's what it looks like there. It has like tiny reflects of gold. This is a dupe for Nars's Orgasm. Like I've seen pretty much everybody who uses this say the same thing. I don't own Nars's Orgasm, but that's all the word on the street is anyway. And I only use the tiniest bit of this because it is very pigmented. Now, lastly for highlighter, um, I usually use either a highlighter out of the Carly Bible palette because those highlighters are unreal with a tan, like, oh. But I haven't used these in so long and they're the Inglot Sparkling Dust Face Body Eyes Illuminator Powder thing. And I have two shades, I don't know if you can tell, I have more of a like, champagne -y one which is this one and then I have a more rose gold no hold on that's the wrong one I have more of a kind of oh my God. I have actually three of them I have number two which is like a proper nice gold one this one's really really nice and I've got number one and this is more of a kind of a um goldy rose goldy kind of tone maybe slightly more champagne with a touch of rose gold and then I have Number four, which is like a bronze shade. This would, I would probably use on a very dark tan. But I think I'm actually going to use the number one. This is the um, more champagne-y, rosy, goldy kind of one. Oh, I love these. These are just unreal. So nice with a tan. And even like, even as like an eyeshadow, like Fix Plus, it's amazing. Use that highlighter with a fan brush. I feel like that will give you a more of a like. Use a tiny bit like that. Okay, I used too much. You can see just how bold. I'll just switch back to my brush and kind of help blend that out. So as you can see, it is like very, very glowy and very highlighty. So I'm not sure. I think I wait. I put way too much on this side. So I'm just gonna actually kind of. So that is pretty much what I do with my foundation and my base. I'm going to do the rest of my foundation and come back and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I just put on some lipstick and eyeshadow and my eyebrows and mascara and so that is how I do my foundation for flash photography or if I was going out and I was doing flash photography or if I just had fake tan and I was going out, this is the foundation that I would wear. Um. I will insert like photos at the end of, of Just Flash. And so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.